first of all by looking at it if we go to this ISL chip which is the charging IC there's a big hole on it so in simplicity either a short has occurred uh, or a wrong charger or over voltage things like that have happened and it has blown so what we're going to do is to simply remove it see how it goes so again we are using a blackjack BK5050 and um, an Amtec flux that's the best flux I personally have used it for years and I did not find anything better than this there was a shot to ground on G3 hot so I'm just gonna remove this going to quickly inspect that so there was a shot here now that is removed and uh, we're going to replace it and see how it goes uh, for a new IC I simply brush it with the solid iron So it'll be easier for it to make the contact. So it's all shiny and ready. Come here. And put it back. So we're just going to simply re replace that resistor, um, the resistor which is gone is this one, R7051, so we've got a donor board, we're going to remove it from that. Lower the um, air pressure. So these are small, so the resistor, they love flying away. Well, ideally, I should be looking for the reason what caused this chip to blow away, if it's an internal reason, but I'm just going to and see, I'm just going to plug it in and see how it goes. So we've got no light. Oh, here we go. We've got a light and we've got a fan spin. So, thank you very much.